Hey guys, so we're out here at Computex in Taipei and Qualcomm is finally showing off the first 5G notebooks. So this is a reference design. This is not actually going to be an actual notebook, but Lenovo is announcing a new 5G notebook called Project Limitless. So the really exciting part about these 5G notebooks is the power and battery life that Qualcomm is able to get out of these chips. Now they are on a seven nanometer process, which is opposed to a 10 nanometer process that Intel is currently on. And they're also seven watts of TDP versus 15 watts. So that kind of shows the difference in how much power these laptops are actually taking up. Now Qualcomm actually showed me a bunch of benchmarks today. They got 3 d Mark and PC Mark to make custom ARM64 versions of their benchmarking tests. And the graphics performance is actually better than the Intel 8250U, which is a 15 watt processor that's running on a 10 nanometer process. The battery life was about twice as good as the Intel 8250U, but the graphics performance was quite a bit higher. Now the general CPU performance was about the same, but the fact that you're able to get this much performance in a chip that barely uses any power and can connect to 5G networks, sub six gigahertz networks, 4G networks, and everything below that is pretty amazing. Now, Lenovo's 5G laptop is not launching this year. It's probably gonna launch sometime in 2020. They haven't quite announced a date or a price, but 5G networks haven't really populated the world yet. And we're not really sure if they're gonna be partnering with Verizon anyway. Last year, they partnered with a different telecommunications carrier to show off their 4G PCs. But these 5G PCs are going to be extremely exciting because you're gonna be able to pull so much information so fast as long as you live in a city that has 5G, but then there's also sub six gigahertz, which means you're just gonna be able to get crazy good speeds anywhere you are. Lenovo's device is only running a 45 watt hour battery as opposed to something like an 85 or a 90 watt hour battery that are in a lot of Intel computers. And it just lasts about twice as long, which is pretty amazing. It uses like half the battery capacity, but it can last a lot longer than these other devices. Now, something that's pretty interesting to note here is the fact that no other manufacturers really have 5G chips ready for the mass market. Intel dropped out of the 5G game. They're not making these modems anymore. And Huawei can't really produce these modems, at least in the US anymore. So that kind of begs the question, who is going to be making these modems except for Qualcomm? So if you're gonna see these 5G PCs, you're gonna probably have to bet that it's going to be a Qualcomm chip inside. So I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more 5G PCs coming out in the future, but we did do some benchmarking. Make sure you head over to androidauthority.com. We've got all those scores for you to check out and stay tuned to our YouTube channel as well because we've got a lot more coming here from Computex 2019. So I will see you in the next video.